Okay, so this is Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. I don't know why my camera is so dark right now, um, but let me proceed. This reading is for Sagittarius. This is a general reading for July 2017. Um, if you would like a personal reading, please email me. I'll put my email in the description. And remember, this is general, so this may not resonate with everyone. If this does not resonate with you, please check your sun, moon, and rising. All right. Let's get started, guys. I already shuffled these cards, but I'm just going through and shuffling them again. Focus on you guys. My dog. <laughs> Let me see if I can move this light so it shows a little bit better. Oh, that made it darker. Can you guys see me a little better? Okay. That's a little bit better. Sagittarius. <laughs> uh, um, you guys, reading start at 25. If you guys um, purchase a reading of $25 or more, you will receive a free complimentary reading. Complimentary reading. Free complimentary. You receive a free reading, free follow-up reading within um, two weeks. You just got to schedule that reading. Um, please follow me on all of my other social media outlets. I'll put those links in the, in the description as well. Let's go ahead and lay these cards out. Okay, I see a lot of good things. I see, um, I do see some happy family life and some happy just life in general. I do see that maybe there needs to be some balance or either you have to weigh your options when it comes to something. Um, I do see some good news coming in about your finances. Let me get, let me pull my clarification cards because... Make signals on this right now. It looks like some things happen or something happened um, where either you are juggling two situations or basically just had a lot going on. I do see you having a lot going on, period. You got the two of pinnacles twice, so there was a lot going on, a lot you had to juggle. And it kind of had you feeling um, out of sorts or, or, or a little um, overwhelmed of sorts. Um, let's see something. You gotta find some balance with that. Like that twice too. You need to find some balance. You know, whatever situation you're going through right now, you feel like it's too much. You may need to, you know, bring someone in to help or, or you know, ask for help. Looks like you're trying to take on too much at one time. You're trying to take care of your life, family issues. You feel like you're doing it alone. And all this is coming at you really fast. Like all of these things are coming at you really fast. I do see money coming in, so that's definitely a good thing. Yeah. 
so much so much going on right now so much that you feel like you just want to walk away you just want to you know I, won't, I don't want to say brush everything on the rug, but just forget about it. You know, you don't even want to keep going through it. You just want to be able to move on and, and be happy. I don't know why my pants are this from, <laughs> but whatever. You just want to be happy right now, and I do see that. But doesn't everybody, you know? I want to be happy, too. I am happy, y'all. Um, I think. <laughs> as far as I know, I'm happy. Let's see what we got. Look like you're finding some grounding though. Those thoughts are starting to clear up for you. Kind of get an idea of what you want. You just got to figure out how to put it together now. Look within. All, all, all this that's going on. It's external, you know. I think you're letting what's going on around you affect you as a person right now or affect your character and your energy. So you need to look within to find your balance. You need to look within and, and kind of find that peace. Find that peace. It's within you right now. Like, you, you feel content. You feel happy, but there's so much going on around you that it's affecting you. So I think right now you have to, like, separate yourself and separate your energy from this situation. Stay strong and positive. You've got a new energy coming in or I think you got some new energy coming in. Now, it may be some choices because I do got balance and I do got the lovers. And, you know, the lovers can represent a new relationship or a budding relationship or it can represent having to make a choice. Um, and in this situation, it may represent having to make a choice, but it could also represent, I think for some, it may represent a blissful feeling because I do have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups and both of those represent a blissful and a happy a blissful, happy and content life and all those mean the same thing. So let me continue. There's so many answers you're searching for right now. And and I think it's kind of lighting a passion in you to, to figure out exactly where you want to go or where you want to take this. If this is a new relationship, you're trying to figure out if this person is worthy of you um, taking the chance with them and, and giving yourself to them. If this is not a relationship we're talking about and we're talking about... Um, making some type of decision and I believe the decision is in regards to money um, whether or not to invest or to follow through with the goal I think that there's a definite um, that's definitely a good perspective prospect <laughs> but no buts it's a good prospect and I think that if, if that's what I'm if that's what this other situation is um, having to make a decision about an investment or having to make a decision about money if you search just just do a little research. You understand? Do some research before you could make a commitment to it. But I do see that it, it can be very positive and very um, successful. You Let's pull an Oracle card so we can see what our Ascending Masters have to say. Whoa. Pop right on out there. Take charge of the situation. So I just said you may need to research um, a little bit um, before you make a decision. But it's up to you to take charge so that you can reap the benefits of this. Um, but I definitely do see some um, money coming in in regards to this decision that you have to make about um, an investment or, you know, something financially. I also do see good things coming in if this is a new relationship. Let's pull one more. Positive change, though. So. 
I do you see you you do have a lot of tens in your reading and that that does represent transforming or going through a transformation so this is positive change this is positive choices um the things that are going on right now in this reading and the things that are going on for your month of July, Sagittarius, you have a very positive month ahead of you. There may be some decisions that need to be meditated on a little bit, but you have all the courage and all the wisdom that you need within you to make these decisions. So this has been your reading for July 2017. I keep forgetting what month it is. <laughs> um, this has been your reading for July 2017. If you guys would like a personal reading... I'll put my email in the description. Um, please follow me on all my other social media accounts. Please subscribe, 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 comment. Let me hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think and what you guys think I should work on. Um, and anything that you, any spreads that you would like me to do. Um, I'll put the links to the love couples and the love singles in the description. And if you guys want to donate to my channel, you can donate through GoFundMe or PayPal. So until mid-month. Y'all have a nice night.